All right, welcome back everybody. It's Mr. Fireball and I am here with a short video today. So Destiny 2 released finally and I've been having a blast on it recently. It's been a lot of fun, a lot better than I actually expected it to be. Campaign is fantastic. Storytelling isn't too great, but just the actual missions are just really fun to play. Also Crucible PVP is one of the most satisfying PVP experiences I've had in all of 2017. And I would consider playing it competitively, but there aren't really ranks right now. So yeah, we get it. This game's awesome and everything, but I had one issue with it and that is the frame limiting. So if you head on over to the Destiny 2 video options, you'll see that there's a V-Sync, but not a frame limiter. And the difference between those two is V-Sync is obviously going to apply V-Sync, which is, you know, pretty bad for competitive gaming because it has a uh, high input lag. And frame limiting is just a straight up cap to your frame rate. It doesn't actually apply V-Sync. So I like to use frame limiter in most of the games I play. So when I first launched the game and changed all my video settings to what I think would work best, I actually turned the V-Sync on to 120 FPS. Since I do have a 144 Hertz monitor, and I don't really see a difference between the two. For a game like Destiny, Destiny, since it's uh, semi GPU intensive and I don't want to make my graphics card overheat, I usually turn a V-Sync or frame limiter of some kind on so I just don't have my GPU running 80 degrees. But upon turning on the V-Sync, I obviously felt a lot of input lag and I realized this is just straight V-Sync, so I'm going to have to find a workaround to this. So I head on over to the Destiny 2 local game files and I find out that this game really does not have many tweakable INI or .config files or anything. It's just mostly done in the game. But eventually after looking around, I did find the video setting and controller settings and all that stuff crammed into one file and it had one hidden option that I was looking for that wasn't in the actual game. So what you're going to want to do is head on over to your start button, type in percent app data percent, hit enter. You're going to be in roaming right here, which is what we want. We're going to go down to Bungie right here, Destiny PC, Prefs, and VARs. So we're going to open that with uh, Notepad++ or Notepad depending on what you have. I have Notepad++ and I like that more so I'll use that. Open that up and you can see most of these settings are video options and controls and stuff like that. So there are two settings that we're looking for right here and that's frame rate cap and VSync mode. So obviously to completely disable VSync, you're going to turn that to zero, which I already have it on. But if that's turned to one, go ahead and type in zero right there. And down here is frame rate cap. That's actually going to limit your FPS to whatever you set it to. So if you're a 30 FPS gamer, it's going to limit your FPS 30 and so on. So since I have a 144 Hertz monitor, I'm going to set that to 144 as so. And that's really it, guys. Uh, save your file with control S and I would go ahead and go over to vars.xml again hit properties and read only if you do not want those settings to ever change on themselves but I do change around settings every now and then so I will keep that off all right guys that's pretty much it for today if you have any suggestions for more tutorials feedback or comments be sure to leave that down in the section below you know where that is go ahead and leave a like and subscription while you're at it if you do enjoy my content and be sure to catch me on twitch because I might be streaming some destiny 2 today uh, twitch.tv slash Fire Bay with three eyes. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.